In this video we're going to put uh, fractions in lowest terms by factoring. So we'll start with uh, this page with these examples. Then we'll move on to uh, these examples here. Okay. So let us begin with 4 over 6. There's two methods of doing it and they're both exact they're both the same really. They just kind of look different. But you might be used you might be uh, used to doing this. 2 goes into the top and bottom. 2 into 4 goes twice. 2 into 6 goes 3 times. The answer is 2 thirds. 2 over 3, right? The other way is to factorize everything first. Factorize means break it down into numbers that multiply each other to get, to get that. So, for example, 4 is 2 times 2, right? If you factorize 6, what do you get? 6 is 2 times 3, right? And so basically in this video I would like you to do this method. Don't well not do this method at all, but just do this, because this is the whole point is to practice this method, okay? And we see a common factor of two in the top and bottom. We can cross cancel that common factor. And we're left with one times two, that's two, over one times three, that's three. So I'd like you to please factorize fifteen. So if you're if you're uh, simplifying 15 over 35, you can factorize 15. So 15 is 5 times what? 5 times 3, and 35 is 7 times what? 7 times 5, right? So we're factoring the top and bottom, and then we're cross cancelling common factors. Do you see a common factor in the top and bottom? 5 and 5 goes once. 5 and 5 goes once. So we get 1 times 3, which is, what do we get in the top? 3, and what do I get in the bottom? 7 times 1, 7, right? So what I'd like you to do now is do 22 over 33, and I'd like you to first factorize 22. You know 2 goes into there probably, so 22 is 2 times what? Okay, 2 times what gives 22? <coughs> Well, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 1 is 2, right? So 2 times 11. Now, what go 3 goes into 33, doesn't it? So if we factorize 33, it'll be 3 times something. 3 times what gives 33? 3 times... 3 times... 1 gives 3, and 3 times 1, so 3 times 11, right? And so this guy becomes you can cross cancel the 11's. See that? So you get 2 times 1, 2 over 3 times 1, 3, 2 thirds. Right? How about 28 over 42? You know, you can break this down as much as you like. If you don't see right away what the factors are, you can say, well, 2 goes into that. So 2 times what? 2 times what gives 28? 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8, right? 2 times what gives uh, 42? 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2, so that's 21. And, and you know, we can cross cancel the common factors of 2. So we've got 14 over 21, so I want you to factorize that as 7 times what? 14 is 7 times um, 2, right? And 21 is 7 times 3, right? So now we're going to cross cancel the common 7s, right? And again, we get 2 thirds. Lots of 2 thirds today. Okay, try this guy. I want you to factorize the top, and you know the top is going to be 5 times. Look, the, end, the last digit in these numbers is 5, right? So what goes into each number? Well, 5 definitely goes into each number, right? So we'll. We'll factorize a 5 out of there. So 5 times what gives 125, right? And you got to divide. It's it's 5 into 12 goes twice. The remainder would be 2. 5 into 25 would go 5 times, right? So we've got 5 times 25. And 5 goes into the bottom as well because it ends with a 5. It ends with a 5. So 5 into 37 goes so so it's five times so it's five times five into thirty seven goes seven times and two over five into twenty five goes five times right and um, you know what uh, you know just for fun I'm just gonna leave that top the five in the top and bottom here 
just for fun, I'm just going to write 25, factorize 25, and then factorize 75. Okay. Um, or y you know, you could start with 75. In fact, 75 is is 20. Is how many 25s make 75? 25 times three, isn't it? And you can just leave 25 there on the top. See that? Because now, see, you've got a 25 in the top and bottom. So they cross cancel nice and easy. And fives cross cancel. And you could have done that back here too, whatever. It doesn't either way it doesn't matter because as long as you get the right answer, because the right answer is one times one is one over one times one times three. So one third, right? Okay, so fifty two over thirty nine. Well I can't see a common factor right away. I don't know if you can, but I can't. But I do know that 2 goes into 52, because 52 is an even number. So I'm going to split 52 up to be 2 times something. 2 times what? Two times, well, 2 into 5 would go twice, remainder of 1, 2 into 12 would go 6 times, right? 26. Um, I don't, I can't see a common factor, but I can see that Look, 3 probably goes into this thing. So I'm just going to factor it. 3 times what? 3 times what gives 3. 3 times what gives 9. Or, or 3 into 3 would go 1 time, and 3 into 9 goes 3 times, right? So I've got 13 there, right? I haven't found out in the cross cancels yet. But I can't factor 13 e anymore. But I'm just going to keep going anyway. So the top I have 2 times something, the bottom I have 3 times something. Well, well, 13 won't go any further. But 26, can we factor that down even further? Does 2 go into 26? Okay, so 26 becomes 2 times what? Now, let's see. Um, 2 into 2 would go 1 time. 2 into 6 would go 3 times. Oh, now what have we got? See that? What can you cross cancel now? You can cross cancel the 13s. So basically, for things like this that you don't, you might not know that 13 goes into 52 and 39. If you don't know your 13 times tables, if you factor something down all the way, eventually common factors may appear and you may be able to cross them off like that. And so now on the top, I have 2 times 2 times 1, which makes 4. On the bottom, I have 3 times 1, which makes 3. Okay. <coughs> now, so on to page two now, and let's start with 34 over 225. So once again, like, you know, this is an even number, I guess. This one ends in a five. I can't see common factors right away, can you? I can't. So I'm going to say, well, I know two probably goes into this guy because he's an even number, right? So 2 into 3 goes 1 time remainder 1. What's 2 into 14? 2 into 14 is 7 times, right? Now look at the bottom. It ends in a 5. So does that, what factor would go into this number here? Would that be 5, right? <coughs> okay. Now 5 into 22 goes 4 times remainder 2. 5 into 25 goes um, 5 times. And let's see what we have now. 2 times 17 and on the bottom 5 times and I guess I can break down the 45. I can't break down 17. 45 is 5 times 9, isn't it? And in fact, this was a funny example because we didn't actually get any common factors. Well, at least this way, when we break, we broke, we practice factoring it down and we know for sure there are no common factors. So at least we, we showed that for sure, right? So I guess, yeah, the, the, uh, the uh, lowest terms is 34 over 225, okay? Um, now, if you're just if you're just given this three times four over four, which of course is twelve over four, which of course is three, right? You can 
cross cancel the 4's and get 3 times 1 over 1 which is 3 over 1 which is 3 right and the point I'm trying to make what I want you to practice is that instead of having a number there you might have a letter which represents a number okay so X is, represents a number it could be any number it could be 7 it could be 10 it could be 8 it could be 9 it could be 3 whatever but the point is if you have some number times 4 over 4 you know for sure that you can cross cancel the 4's and then you'll get x times 1 which is x over uh, over 1 okay now we know 3 over 1 is 3 so what do you think x over 1 is x just represents some number that we don't know it could be 9 it could be 10 it could be 7 but you know if, th if, you, if the number was 3 and you had 3 over 1 the answer would be 3 if, if for, for any for some number we don't know like called x then the answer would just be x right let's have a look at this example you've got 2 times 3 times 5 over 3 times 5 okay now of course that is 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 5 is 30 and 3 times 5 is 15 what's 30 over 15 well it's 2 right but the other way of working it out is to factorize it all out and then cross cancel common factors so you could go 3 into 3 goes once and then what else could you do 5 into 5 goes once, right? And so you get 2 times 1 times 1, that's 2 over 1 times 1, 2 over 1, which gives 2. And this is very similar to having n times 3 times 5 over 3 times 5. So instead of a 2, which you had here, I'm just going to do the same example with an n. And just see, see what you get. What do you get if you have an n there? 3's cross cancel. Write it out, just take notes, write it out. Fives cross cancel, and what do you get? N times one times one, N over one times one, one. Okay, so two over one gave us two, N over one gives us N. Right? How about this guy? Five times two times seven over two times seven. And then do this. So press pause and see if you can figure this out for yourself. Press pause and do this one. So on the top, don't the twos cross cancel? And don't the sevens cross cancel? So don't I get five times one times one? That's five over one times one, one, which is five, right? On the bottom, what cross cancels? Well, definitely the sevens. Now look at the ends. This is the same number over the same number. It could be eight. It could be n could be three. N could be two. But it, it whatever it is, it's the same number on the top and bottom. Now can't you cross cancel the same number on the top and bottom? And it goes once into itself, right? So now you have five times one times one, which is five over one times one, which is one, and that gives us. 5. Right. So, just for fun, give you one more example. What if you had 3 times n times 4 over um, 4 times n? What would that be? Press pause or whatever and, and give that one a go. 3 times n times 4 over 4 times n. Would the 4's cross cancel? Yep. What else cross cancels? The n, n is a letter and it represents a number we don't know the value of. Now, whatever it is, it's the same number though. I mean, because n could be 2 and you would just cross cancel the 2's. Or n could be 8 and you would cross cancel the 8's, right? But it's the same thing and so we can cross cancel the same thing, right? And so we get 3 times 1 times 1, that's 3, over 1 times 1, that's 1, and that makes 3, right?